Hello, boys and girls. Today we are going to be talking for um, about taking care of our Earth for our social studies assignment. So, if you click over here where it says View Instructions, it says that we're going to read about how we can have respect for the Earth on page one, and then we're going to click on page two, and we're going to type in the answers on the blank, where we're going to use the marker to bubble in our answers and then turn in our work. So, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to read this to you. So, whenever you are using your tools each day, you have some tools up at the top. So, you have a plus sign and that can help you to make it things look a little bit bigger so that you can read things a little bit better. Or, if you click on this button right there, it will take away some of your icons that are at the bottom and then um, whenever you're go ready to write you can click up right there and then they will go back um, then they'll come back so I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna read our instructions our story to you so this is called respect for the earth nature is the home of many plants and animals and here are some of the ways to respect it the first one take only pictures you see a tree with cool bumpy bark should you should you peel off a piece of it and take it with you no way if you look at a tree from a long time you will notice that it took it a long time to grow that bark everything that you see in the woods belongs there if you see something cool take a picture of it and then you can look at it again and again so don't take a piece of bark leave only footprints so you're done eating a granola bar should you throw the wrapper on the ground that's not a good idea an animal could eat the wrapper and it could get sick if you bring something into the woods bring it back out with you you should leave only your footprints behind the next one let the animals be you spot some raccoons in a tree they look so soft should you pet them nope wild animals are not pets you can scare them and they can hurt you so don't share your snacks with them either they could get sick animals can find their own food and the next one says follow the trail so you're walking on a trail through the woods it would be fun to explore off of the trail so should you go no, the trail is the safest path through the woods. Being respectful of nature helps to keep it beautiful and it helps to keep you safe too. So I'm going to go back over here and then I can click over here and it will show me the next page on page two. So on page two, we're going to answer our questions based upon what we just read, some of the stuff. So we have been talking about reduce, reuse, and recycle. To reduce means that you make less of something. So if you write on both sheets of a piece of paper, that makes less trash. Reuse means to use it again and again. If you use your lunchbox every day instead of a new paper bag, then you are reusing. Recycle. When something is recycled, it is turned into something new. If you recycle a bottle, it can be turned into a new bottle, a new one, okay? So now you're gonna answer those questions. You're gonna click on one of the tools to help you bubble in the correct answer. Reduce means to make blank of something. So you're gonna look up here and find your answer. You can use a lunchbox every day. You are doing what? Look up here and find your answer making less trash by writing on it on both sides just one side or just on the top what would that be which one so you're going to do that and then the last step after you have finished bubbling in your answer i want you to click on the microphone over here and discuss this okay at the very bottom it says you finished your bottle of water but you don't see a recycling bin what should you do so I want you to use your microphone and tell me what you would do and tell me why it is important to take care of our environment, why it's important to reduce, reuse, and recycle 
and why all of the things that we learned about on the first page, why it's important to show respect for our earth. Okay. Thank you. I hope you guys have a great day. Miss you.